Hello everyone, it's Goomba here, back with yet another video. Today, I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Um, if you're following uh, the gaming tech news, or like if you're watching Digital Foundry or whoever, you may have come across this. This is Lossless Scaling App that is available on Steam. It is a paid application. I believe you have to like uh, pay five or six dollars for it. And this application basically allows you to either like upscale any games or like you can talk about stuff like FSR or whatever, but it also has this very interesting option as frame generation so frame generation basically allows you to like double or even triple the frame rate of the game you're currently playing and the most mind-blowing thing is it works for every game no matter if it's on a steam or if it's an emulator and yes that's right it also works on rpc3 as well which we'll get to in a second but the so lossless scaling basically allows you to turn on frame generation in pretty much all games on your pc and effectively double the frame rate and uh, yeah we're going to test it out with yes you might guess it with little big planet we have this application right here uh, this basically allows you to like you know set up some stuff choose like what type of like lossless scaling frame generation you want to choose and then you if you want to choose between you know two times or three times the frame generation and some other settings you can adjust such as hiding the cursor you can turn on the v-sync hdf it supported and it also allows you to like you know scale up the image use like the fsr and nvidia image scaling on pretty much all the games as well so there's an option for that as well and uh, yeah shall we get started on the little planet and uh, yeah this is the most mind-blowing thing about this is that it works for any game and any emulator so if we say fire up little big planet we should be able to run the game at a higher frame rate so right now we're in little big planet one inside of our pod and uh, as you can see if i just run around with sackboy as you can see it is still a 30 fps the game runs exactly as it should like normally and before i switch to 60 fps FPS, you might already be familiar with how the game works and how the game speed is tied to the uh, frame rate So that means if you can't keep up the frame rate that the game like goes like down to 20 FPS at times or some Then you can also tell that the sackboy himself also runs much slower as well at the same time You might be thinking then hold on if you're going to double your uh, frame rate Doesn't that mean the game speed is also going to double? Well, it turns out that's not necessarily the case at all and simply that's because we are only generating extra frames by interpolating between one frame and the other and we are not touching the game and the way it works at all we're simply manipulating what is currently being outputted on the screen hence why we're going to be able to play the game at 60 fps without actually making the game run at 60 fps crazy right but yeah let's go to 60 fps and see what happens now we have turned the frame generation on from lossless scaling application and now as you can see the game looks way smoother just moving the sideboard around makes it look extremely smooth thanks to the frame generation that we just enabled and as you can see the game runs exactly the same speed as if we were running the game at 30 fps so that's really good and yeah shall we actually like play some of the levels i think we should so let's go to the story and play um, first steps. Yeah, let's do that. A basic level, a perfect one for to showcase it. Hello, King. Hello, birdies. What's up, Dumpty? Oh, should we do a race? I think we should do a race. Why not? All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Like this is incredible. I never thought I would see the day where I could finally play Little Big Planet at 60 fps without any issues now obviously this isn't like real 60 fps this is all things to the factory they're generating extra frames in between so it's called like interpolation it's kind of something similar to like dlss 3.5 except you can actually run it in any card and you can run it in like on any game with dlss 3.5 you do need to have a game that actually supports it multipliers even the multiplier attacks look at this when it went, once it's dissolves it also gets moving out all right jump it just looks insane it looks gorgeous oh yeah we have to uh, put stickers on them and like even zooming into the sack boy to like decorate it this looks gorgeous too like look how smooth it is i'm just gonna switch to my character to have like a non-default sack boy hey score points we don't have playstation now so i guess we're gonna have to skip that and yeah the scoreboard and there we have it. We have completed our first level in Little Big Planet 1 at 60 FPS. It is incredible. Alright, let's move on to uh, any kind of community level. Let's see. Zlus for Fortress, why not? Let's play that one. 
I remember this level is actually particularly challenging, so it's gonna be fun to play through it. I have the bubble. Hey, make a skip. Oh, oh, that was a bad skip. I think wearing down the middle should be safer. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right, we made it. All right, let it rotate. There we go. Now we go. Jump. There we go. Jump, jump, jump. Oh no. Okay, we didn't get thrown off. And jump. We made it. Oh, let's go. Okay. Okay, moving up these hunters. There we go. Ow. That hurt. Let's go beat that evil dragon. And jump. Oh, that was a weak grab or whatever. We we're gonna make it. There we go. Okay, just, just go, 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 go. There we go. To the second stage. I'm gonna finish you off. There right, go. Quick, 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 quick. Jump. Oh, this platform. I hate it. Okay, go, 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 go. No, you feel it at the wrong moment. Yeah, I told you this those levels really challenging. I don't... I don't miss it. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Oh, I did the same thing. Oh my god, that's falling down heavily. Bump, bump, bump. Don't flip me. There we go. Shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. Okay, one more stage. Okay, go. Go, go, go. No time to waste. We should land this. No, we went the other way around. Why? Oh, these platforms are so annoying. They're so slippery. Okay, go, 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 go. Don't flip me off! Oh, we made it! Woo, we made it! Go, 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 go! Yes, we beat the dragon! Hey! I lost all lives for that, but we made it. Let's go! We beat the community level! Now, obviously, this uh, frame generation thing doesn't just work in Little Big Planet 1 and on. You can also uh, double a frame rate with Little Big Planet 2 and 3, which should hopefully look a little better because the motion blur in those two later games is not that intense. So, I guess we could just move on to Little Big Planet 2. So, now we're at uh, Little Big Planet 2 uh, with my uh, familiar OC right here. Let me remind you, that's how the game looks at 30 FPS. Pretty standard stuff. I mean, we are kind of are familiar with how the game looks at 30 FPS, you know, but watch what happens when I switch it to 60 FPS. And now we are at 60 FPS thanks to lossless scaling application. And already, look at this. Oh, it just looks gorgeous. And like, even going to the menus, like, look at this. It's so smooth. We, we're gonna try some levels uh, in the community. Let's just, as usual, try some story level and then we will move on to a community one. So let's go for uh, one of my favorite levels of mine in Little Big Planet 2 uh, story, which is uh, flying in the face of danger. I feel like this is going to showcase the flaws of this method very perfectly. So let's just do that. Oh, we're gonna shoot. It's a Pretty fun skyscraper. When there's gonna be you know, like a fast-paced level, then you can obviously see some artifacts. If this isn't really full 60 FPS, it's it's making it seem like it's 60 FPS. That's actually the game running at 30, so with like duplicated frames. And also when you're getting like frame drops, then these unfortunately also need to get amplified due to the nature of frame generation. Oh god! Oh god! I'm stuck! <laughs> no, I'm stuck! Okay, there we go. <laughs> that never happened to me in this level, that was interesting. Bye, you minis. At some point in the video, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like slow down the footage and then you'll point out exactly what goes wrong with like, you know, frame generation at times. Oh, that one got stuck. What happened to him? What the hell happened there? Those got stuck for whatever reason. There we go, we're spinning up. Ow, that hurt. I believe we made it. Yeah, we have. Go. Like, even the cutscenes are swerving out as well, which is funny. And there we go! Okay, now we move on to uh, community levels. Uh, let's go for Plahash Survival, why not? I actually wanted to play it for the longest time. I know this was a level specially made for like uh, Pride Month, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh, it's a Plahash. Yeah, you can definitely tell why this was made for Pride Month. The Pride flags everywhere. Oh my god, being squished! No! Oh, I don't think that's meant to happen, but okay, we'll keep going. Oh god! All the blood houses. Let's go! Let's swim! Oh, they're carrying me! 
No, 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 don't get squished! Oh, there you go. Look at this, all, all of that motion and it just looks so smooth. No, 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 I'm being squished! Uh-oh, the game crashed. Well, rip. Okay, we should try another level as well, because we kind of crashed there, so I guess that one doesn't really count. We haven't even finished that Blahash level. So let's go for a different one, shall we? How about we go for Infectious Caverns? I haven't tried that level, let's see it. Pretty dark in here. Oh, I can't get a glow infection, interesting. Oh, it's so dark in here, okay. There we go. Oh, so I bet Great Nate I was into this this one. Pretty original level, I can't lie. Oh, you weren't there before. Oh, we got a boss fight. To the prototype of all three weapon types to destroy it, okay. Okay, we got this. And one more. Oh, there's one more. There we go, we defeated it. Let's go. Hey, let's go. That's a pretty cool level, I'm gonna lie. I liked it. Alright, so that's going to be it for uh, Little Big Planet 2. Let's now move on to Little Big Planet 3. <laughs> now we're booting into Little Big Planet 3, and as you might see in a second, this frame generation also applies, as you can see, to everything, including like the loading screens, as you can see. It looks so smooth, like it's incredible. Let's go for um, let's go for more, like one of my favorite story levels in Little Big Planet 3, which is Belly of the Beast. With wood boots for this one. Oh, look at this, it's so smooth. I've never expected to play Little Big Planet like this. If you told me, like, I don't know, five years ago, that I would be able to play Little Big Planet 3 knowing that the game performance is tight with game speed, I wouldn't believe you. But we can actually run the game at 60 FPS now. Oh, I would have. And I'd even dodge a bubble, that's interesting. Bro, I died and killed at the same time? That's unreal. Why didn't I have my boost boots? You see that? And now we're giving boost boots. This game is so buggy sometimes. Yeah, I was supposed to get boost boots right here. To make a skip. But no. I just fell right down because I don't have boost boots. At no point did I ever unequip those boost boots. It's just the game did it for me. We made it to the marble. Let's go. Now let's move on to the community level. Alright, there's Clockworks 3, I forgot about that one. Start the clock! Yeah, you can definitely tell this was made in another plan 3 with like the amount of layers. Oh, we switched between layers now. No, I died! Oh no. Alright. The great server outage of 2050. Reconnected to it. Let's try it. I haven't actually played all the reconnected to levels, so that'd be a good place to start, I think. Created by Bruce1947 for LB Little Big Planet Reconnected 2. In the year 2050, you can experience server outage. An unusual server outage. The only way to fix it. it was like a random segue program. And this was not called fixing, it was called addressing. <laughs> yep. You must be a truce in the present cold. Talk to Julia in the reception and she will tell you all you need to know. Oh, 3D movement. I told you to get more sleep, dude. Oh, the electrician's finally here. Are you the electrician? Yeah, I am. The elevator seems to have been affected by the server outage. You might be able to fix it using your talent for fixing. Walk up the server panel and press triangle. Alright. It should be fairly easy to you. Just lead the light from the active marker on the left to the active sensor on the right by rotating the segments with the right stick. Okay. And this way. There we go. Hey, I got a fix for you, buddy. Another thing we need to fix. There we go, it got it fixed. This door will only open once the server and this room are back online, so there's another one here, okay. There we go. Hey, the door opened. Go in. The Union has been giving the prize for the happiest workplace for 41 years in a row. Oh, interesting. Hey man, this floor is wet. Okay. 
Like, I'm gonna do the work. Oh, look at all this trash. Hello. It's not insane that we used to eat all these. Someone said they lost their access card in this room. I've been trying to find it. Maybe you can find it. Oh, I see it right there. I found it. Yeah, I found it. The construction company did something weird with this corridor. Oh, what the hell? Very interesting corridor. Construction of new LPP in building completed. Alright. There we go, we got it fixed. One more. Hello, suck electric technician. You may need security clearance to get to the server core. Oh, I got the I got the card. If I don't have one, maybe one of the employees in the office will do it right. Can help you out. I have it. I don't know why I have it. I have a clearance. Secure the core in a way that allows only real veterans to get there. Go ahead and skate to the victory. Make sure to grab on tight. Alright. Weird security uh, measurements, but okay. Hey, let's go. We're skating our way out. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, we grabbed it. Okay. I think. Yeah, we did. Alright, good. Why did it let go? I, it's beyond me. Yay! Alright, we managed to get into the server room. This is the final server part. Dual stack electrician. Kind of funny. It's you know, it, logically speaking, it shouldn't be the electrician fixing the servers. It should be the uh, IT guy. <laughs> this, this kind of little detail over here that should be addressed. You know, easy. Alright, there we go. Now we have main panel. Did it? The servers are back online. If you want to fix some of the other small server issues, use in the panel next to mine. If you want to get back to the lobby, use the door to the right and take the elevator. Yeah, let's go back to the elevator. We did it! We fixed a little bit of Union servers! Oh, what is this? Emotional music. Oh, hey, I'm getting... I'm getting congratulated. Thank you, Select Electrician. Wow, I only came and fixed the servers. The servers are back up. Time to publish my reconnected to entry. <laughs> Let's go. It's a funny level. Yeah, but that's going to be it for uh, today's video. Uh, comment on what you think about uh, Little Big Planet 3 finally getting 60 FPS uh, using the lossless scaling application. Obviously, let me remind you, it's not the real 60 FPS, but it looks incredibly smooth as you can see. And uh, yeah, comment down what you think. Like the video if you enjoyed the, this type of content. I will link down uh, the Steam page link for the lossless uh, scaling application that you can buy if you want to try it out yourself. It works as you can see with RPC3, but not just RPC3 or any kind of emulators. It works with all kinds of games on PC, so you should definitely try it out if, if you choose to do so. But that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll hope to see you guys in the next video or live stream. See you guys.